Welcome to Foldables with Miss Niesker. And today, I'm going to show you two new foldables that we'll be using over the course of the next couple of weeks. It starts with a blank sheet of paper, which is best. But if you don't have that, you can, of course, use lines, lined paper. So you're going to take a regular 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, and we're going to fold that paper in half. The beauty of this is this one sheet of paper is going to create both foldables. So if you're really good, which sometimes I am, you can do that without any problems, but I'm going to use my school issued straight edge. And with my school issued straight edge, I'm going to put that crease in really tight because the tighter the crease is, the better the foldable comes out. And I'm going to tear it, although that tear came out not so good, so I'm going to change where I'm tearing it at. For those of you who really like nice sharp edges, you may want to use scissors. Be careful because it started tearing badly here, so I want to make sure it doesn't quite tear that edge. All right, I'm going to take this one and set it aside. I don't need that for right now. This one, is, this half is going to be a four-door kind of cover-up. Four-door cover-up is the best way I can call it. And so we're going to fold this paper in half. And we're going to fold it in half again. We're doing that so that we can make our areas work out really well. Okay. We're going to open it all the way up. And I'm going to then fold these in. And of course, I'm creasing all the sides. So I'm going to fold this in. This creates the two doors. So the next part, in order to get the four doors, we're going to fold this in half. So I'm folding it in half the other direction. It's going to not play well in the corner, so it's not this corner is not being nice. So I may have to pull out my school issued straight edge. Yep, I'm going to have to to make that corner behave. And I'm going to make this fold. Uh, pretty good. Okay. When I open this up, what I need to do is I need to cut or tear just this piece. So I'm only going to cut or tear a portion of that. So I'm going to make sure that it's nice and nice and tight. And it's not playing nice. So it is going to create a little bit of a mess for me. But there's my first fold, there's my second fold, and I'm going to repeat the process on the other side. And I'm going to hope that it tears nice. This one's going to look like it's going to play a little bit better than the other one did. And I make sure that the doors are separated. And that's my four-door foldable. You'll see what notes we put in this in the next video. So that other sheet that we saved was the other, the other half sheet, the other part of the sheet that we saved was this one. And this one's going to be a three-door. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to fold this down in half. It's got fuzzy edges, so it's going to be a little bit harder to fold it. Should come out pretty good. And again, I am going to fold it like so. And now for the hardest part of this is we're going to fold this into thirds. So what we're going to do is what I call a burrito fold, because it's the best way to describe it. And we're going to start to make a burrito wrap. And I'm going to keep wrapping it around until I can smoosh it down so that this is even. So I'm going to kind of keep rolling it until it feels kind of even. And then I didn't like that, so we're going to make a few adjustments. This is bring in the school issued straight edge. And we're going to pull that over 
here. And we will create the three door. Now, I like to have my fuzzy edges on the top because when I'm writing over here, I don't like the fuzzy edges on that part. And we're going to do something very similar to what we did on the four door. We're going to cut or tear this fold all the way to the middle and the same thing with that. So we're going to cut these. And again, if you don't like the fuzzy edges at all, you can always use scissors. I just am lazy. I'm not going to lie. I'm lazy. I didn't go look for the scissors. And these two foldables are useful for many things. So we have the three door and we have the four door. That's folding with Miss Niskern. Thanks, guys.